More than anything else, what the Idaho crisis has done is to highlight all the factions, all the divisions in America. And nowhere are they closer to the surface than in the House of Representatives in Washington. It's become kind of a political bazaar built on the ruins of the melting pot. The situation here changes hourly. What this crisis comes down to is wheeling and dealing. Most of it orchestrated by the White House and Kenya Nkomo, the leader of the Nation of Islam Caucus. Before being elected to Congress, he made his name on the streets of Los Angeles as one of his most feared gang leaders. Every party is demanding concessions in exchange for their supporting the president if he needs to use force against Idaho. Now I'm standing here next to Congressman Singh of Alabama. Congressman Singh, what concessions did you get from the White House? Oh, a great deal for my people. I told Mr. Buckin from the White House, y'all want our support against Idaho? Fine. But y'all have to give us 3,000 acres in Alabama and money to build our temples. And he said, no problem. So, no problem. No problem. Jim Keller, NewsNet.